Hi, it's Nell with the blog Joyous Garden and we're doing some work in my back garden phase two and planting a Meyer lemon tree today and I thought you might want to see how to do it and what's going on. The first thing I'm going to do to the plant is I'm going to cut this off. If you see this on a lemon or any kind of a citrus, this is the rootstock. Uh, this is the graft here. It's, it's a sucker that is coming off of the rootstock. And you just want to take it off because it's not going to do anything for the plant at all. And this tree has three little lemons coming on it. This baby tree. of this compost. This is a mixture of compost and worm. This is a mixture of compost and worm compost I'm putting in. I'm just going to throw in a few handfuls here. And this tree will be going on drip ir irrigation, by the way. Everything I have in this garden is drought tolerant, but I did want a Meyer lemon, so I love the fruit. How many of these trees have you planted? Oh, hundreds? A hundred. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, I wanted to show you the fertilizer I am going to use for it. When I do fertilize it in September, I'm going to use a specific citrus food. I like Happy Frog. There are many different brands of citrus. Um, EB Stone, Down to Earth, a lot of companies have, have it because uh, they like a slightly acetic soil. I've also used cottonseed meal for citrus trees also. but. This is a nice blend I like, so this will go back into, into the plant room and then come out in a few months when it's time to give it a good feeding. So this is how it's going to be. I'll probably run the hose in slowly, just give it a little bit more water. We're going to put a more substantial stake in. Uh, we're not doing a well around it. You could do that, but this is going to be on drip. The heads are going to go right down right there so it doesn't need Oh well, so it is all done and I'm going to keep my eye on this and if I think it needs any supplemental water, I will, but I think it's going to be dripped how many times a week? Twice or? Actually, or it's going to be three times. It's going to be dripped three times a week. Yes. So, yeah, on a very slow, slow drip, right? Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> As I said, I'm going to put the hose in and drip it so it gets a nice good thorough watering it in because it's been growing in in its grow pot who knows how long it's been in there and now it is in its new home so i want to make sure that it is it adjusts really really well so i hope you have found this to be helpful i'm not sure if i'm doing a blog post to go along with this i'm trying to do some just you know videos for you because if i do a blog post too it's it's long but anyway I uh, have a lot more videos coming your way about gardening both indoors and outdoors. Oh, and stay tuned for the garden tour at the end of the year. I always do that in December, even though it's May. So you'll see how the garden looks after all these plants get planted. Now let's get out in our gardens and make the world a more beautiful place. I thank you for watching for all your likes and your subscribes. I appreciate them. Bye for now. Looking back on this, you know, video, it was a bit, you know, chaotic. It was in the bright sun. There was a lot of shovel noise. So I just wanted to go over some points for you because there is not going to be a blog post to go along, you know, with this. So the important thing is that this is a dwarf Meyer lemon. It's a dwarf improved Meyer lemon. I don't think I said that. I think just, I think I just said a little a lemon tree. I really can't remember. But anyway, it gets six to 10 feet by six to 10 feet. 
and I am in Tucson, Arizona in the Sonoran Desert, which is a tough growing climate. So this video was filmed on June 1st. You know, that's when the planting happened, obviously. And it is not the ideal time to plant here because it's getting really hot. End of February to the very beginning of May is good, along with September and October. But I had other home improvement projects going on and I had to wait for Gerardo's schedule to free up also. So um, that's how that happened. So just be sure to check in your area and make sure that uh, or, or just to make sure what, what what times are the best for planting citrus in your zone so I thoroughly watered the tree before I planted it you don't want it to be dry at all and you'll see me cutting off some growth toward the base of the plant and that is a sucker growth it does nothing for the plant at all it just takes things out of it so cut off any sucker growth you see on the trunk so you want to dig the hole twice as wide as deep and you don't want to sink the plant too far into the hole at all. You want the level of the, uh, the soil level of the root wall to be about equal to the level of the soil that you're putting it into. So Gerardo cut the pot off. He, he, he cut the growth pot off. I was a professional gardener and a landscaper for years. And what I would do, I'm just going to demonstrate on this how lavender plant, I would push on the pot or I would turn it on its side and I would gently step on it to loosen it from the pot. So any way that you want to do it, that is your choice. So as he planted, you'll see me adding in some local compost and worm compost, just some added nutrients for the plant. And this is very important. Be sure to water your lemon tree in very well after planting. And I did not fertilize at this time because it is not the time to fertilize it. I show you what fertilizer I use and I will do that sometime in, in September. Okay, on to the planting.